So good morning, welcome back to the tour. And this is going to be an interesting one to try to do. Um, so of course just finished the rest day yesterday. I know I'm behind getting things posted. So I will try to catch that up later today, you know, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, I still have a job, so I still have to work for a living. So I've gotten a little bit behind. Um, got one more week of the tour while well, I'll also still have to go to my quote unquote day job. Although my day job is a night job, but you know, needs must. So what's happening in this image, if I can make it work, is the uh, Betiol has left the front um, breakaway, gone up the road. I had just done a painting of him talking with one of the race motorcycles it looked like they were just having a friendly chat. You know, because I paint this live, I paint this as the race is unfolding. Even if I'm not truly live, I am not, I haven't watched the whole race and then come back and pick images or do screen captures and then come back and paint things. I'm painting it as it plays out uh, intrinsically live for myself. So just moments after I finished the other painting of Betiol, talking with the motorcycle, um, he came up on what will become apparent here in a minute. Um, so here he is with one of the gendarmes who um, shepherd the race along and, and look out for dangers and warn the riders of potential pinch points in the road or whatever it may be that considers dangerous. Now, the, he has actually gotten off of his motorcycle and is standing at the side of the road. And just before either one of the race volunteers was warning that there was something in the way or it was one of um, what I'm about to paint here, the protesters trying to stop the race. So I may just work on Betiel here for a second. And then go on. Telling you about what's going on here. And actually next to Betiel, also somewhat dangerously, <laughs> one of the race commissaires have stopped their car in the middle of the road. Now. Some of the middle of the road factor here is will become apparent in a minute, just a moment. So what we have is a number of protesters don't know what they're protesting. And coverage tends to um, not talk too much. And it's frequently like last couple of protests I've seen have been farmers discussing EU or protesting EU actions that have made it very difficult for them to earn the money they need to survive. But this group has come out and actually blocked the road. And it might have helped, and you'll see this when I start painting, that they did set off big pink flares, which at least kind of helped warn the riders that something was up. But I thought I would paint this just because it is a part of the tour. And you know, the race is done on open roads. So this is one of the race breast camera motorbikes that have stopped 
on the other side of this group to um, try and get a photograph just as I'm trying to get a painting. So I'm actually going to start this one a little differently and then I'm going to Call this free speech. I think we'll get a little more political. So, some of the paintings you see, if you go back and start looking through these YouTube videos, you can see some of the paintings I've worked on over, particularly during COVID lockdown. And you'll discover that. I also use paintings to talk about what's going on in the world. And, you know, there are people out protesting things that I don't support and don't feel that they really have a clue about what's going on. <laughs> and some people that I do support. But, like I say, I have no idea what this protest is about. And maybe, again, I'm painting these things relatively live, so, and certainly if I do a little research, I may well be able to find out what this is all about before too long. But not as I'm working on this video, not as I'm working on this painting, So it's interesting trying to paint dust, or in this case, like like earlier stages, it was um, all about, well, an earlier stage when they raced on the cobbles that are used in Perry Roubaix, trying to get all that dust depicted because that becomes a layer lays over top of what it is I'm painting. So trying to have that atmospheric quality to this can become very difficult. And that's one of the things about, you know, I'm actively trying to do something and I feel slightly brave because I'm doing this <laughs> on camera. Clearly there was nothing here before. I didn't like test the idea and then see if I could do it. I like to um, I like to push myself. I like to, you know, see what I can make happen. I like to challenge myself in painting. And, you know, they're, they're not all successes. Now, one of the things that has made this particular protest really difficult for the race organizers and the cyclists is that they have, this group has um, zip tied themselves together. So it's one big sort of mass. Now, while I was trying to find the best image for this protest, I will confess that I did. Like this happened, it's like, oh, do I want to paint that? And then, or you know, just exactly what's happening. And then they um, stopped the breakaway and stopped Betiol. That's what that conversation was about. that he was having in the painting previous. So if you go look at these on my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com, you'll see 
the paintings in sequential order and you will see what I did immediately prior to discovering that this is what the conversation he was having was about. I'm kind of lost in what I've told you and what I haven't told you. Because, like I say, I'm trying something new image-wise. And so I'm having to concentrate, <laughs> talking and concentrating are not necessarily um, things that work together. So this is the gendarme, gendarme, French for police. And oh, that's where I was going. So they've got themselves all zipped together and I sort of went for it. Now they've stopped everybody in the race the protection while they work on removing these protesters and so the image that I saw when I was looking forward to find the best visual to tell this story there was an image of so the gendarmes ride with the race and they usually their function is just to zip forward let you know, block the roads, make sure nobody comes out on the roads, and, um, yeah, but more as a traffic thing. And so there are, I don't know, 15, 20 gendarmes who are on motorcycles, who follow the race. And you know, I suspect, although I don't know, that there are a lot more police available. And of course, you do have the local police in each town, city that they ride through. So more motorcycles come up to help this gentleman out. And they start pulling the protesters out of the road. And of course, just like the sit-ins from the 60s and 70s, the protests to stop Jim Crow, some of the protests for Black Lives Matter, they drag the people out. And so the idea of zip tying yourself together, I'm sorry, is admittedly brilliant because, you know, it's a lot harder to drag four bodies simultaneously than it is to drag one at a time. So I, I have uh, mixed feelings here. probably sensing that from as I talk here because <laughs> you know I, I tend to uh, well I've done my share of protesting actually as a kid one of our family activities was to protest the Vietnam War interesting family outing, particularly when your father works for the Defense Department. So it was actually a bit of a risk for him to do that. So just sort of getting the final pieces of this imagery together. And again, like I said, you can see all of my cycling work of this tour and many other events as well as my art that I was also referencing at my website. So the cycling art, and you can read more about it at, is at my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com. And then all of my art is at my website, gregleach.com. And I'll put these, both of these in the um, 
down below so you can see you, know, you can go check those things out if you're so inclined I have no idea where I am and what I'm telling you so sorry about that so just like I say just about finishing this image up I'm going to come back and hit a little pink here I missed a spot on his jersey and then this pink flare that they sent off has left this pink cloud. So actually I'm pretty pleased with how this, I hope you can make out. Because, you know, I'm looking at the TV image that I've paused, whereas you're only seeing the painting. I feel like I've kind of captured the mayhem of this. So, oh, but so they've paused the race behind and then they will, when the Peloton arrives, unfortunately these guys did this ahead of the race, any of the race. They have waited and snuck out there in between the Betiol and the chasing 20-some. It could have been a lot worse when they arrived. And, um, you know, they could have caused a serious wreck. But they will stop each of the riders, or when they restart the, each group, they will give them the time advantages that they had when they arrived at this point. So, you know, the Peloton is so many minutes behind, the breakaway and the breakaway is so many minutes behind, the so low, Lone Rider Betiol. So they will give them, they will start them back off again at those time intervals because this is nothing to do with what the race, the racers were doing, and they are not catching back up because the Lee group lost momentum. Just wanted to darken his shorts just to make him pop out a little more. Okay, though. So thanks for watching. I hope you will give it a thumbs up, a comment. Love to have you subscribe if you find this interesting. I will get caught back up to posting every day of the tour, except for the rest days. I thought I would get caught up posting yesterday, but um, I had to get a lot of artwork shipped out, so that scuttled that idea. But anyway, thank you so much. Give it a thumbs up, give it a follow, and most importantly, I really appreciate you watching.